special thanks to Patreon supporter Godspeed for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 24 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M985 Hemet. This uh, vehicle here is basically a many one of the many variants of the Hemet series of trucks. Uh, this one here kind of more designated as almost like a super duty, heavy duty pickup truck almost. Uh, it basically has a bed on the back of the truck and is able to transport um, heavy sized cargo. I think that, for example, this does transport like the M104 Patriot missile uh, kind of pods. And um, again, that's just one example out of many. Um, there's also videos, or not really videos, but pictures of them actually converting it into a kind of gun truck. So putting guns and stuff mounted in the back. Um, but yeah, basically it's just designed to be a heavy duty, really utility truck, kind of like a pickup style. Um, it does have its own little crane system, which is kind of cool. Um, and just overall, it's a pretty interesting little build and should be a fun one to add to any of your Modern Warfare bases, uh, especially in the US lineup, as we do have a couple of these trucks. And uh, this year just kind of expands upon those trucks with a nice kind of utility version of it. Um, before we go and jump into taking a look at the build, I do want to go ahead and give special links to a new Patreon. Godspeed. If you are interested in supporting the channel where you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can go ahead and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a video request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do my channel. It's really greatly appreciated, so I strongly encourage you to check out my Patreon page if you are very interested in that. Uh, with that though, let's go ahead and dive in here to taking a look at the M985 Hammond. To begin with, we have the front cab here of the truck, so pretty standard with my uh, previous designs here. Nothing really too different or really too um, changed for it. Uh, we have the side mirrors, obviously, all the top detailing. Um, this is kind of more enclosed compared to some of the other helmets, which has all this area kind of more exposed. Uh, we have the exhaust here for it, obviously all the little um, instrument spare tire here, and the side also has a jerry can. So um, just a few little details there, just to kind of, you know, get a little bit more life to the vehicle. And we kind of move to the main kind of uh, section of the vehicle, which makes it stand out, is this bed system. So basically, you have a bed of the truck here. You can put cargo in here, whatever you want. As I said, uh, some are modified to be kind of gun trucks, so that's something you can do also. And then on the back here, we do have the crane. We have it folded down um, for, the, for the most part. Um, if you want to extend it or whatever, you can feel free to kind of modify it at your own uh, pace or whatever. But we basically have it just kind of set up... Um, like in, the, in basically the down position, as I imagine most people will have this probably um, in convoys or something like that. So, um, but that pretty much right there is the vehicle, a pretty straightforward one and fun one nonetheless. As you can see, we do have it in a tan color scheme. However, there are plenty of these vehicles that are in green. I think more kind of like domestic uh, base um, vehicles here. Uh, but as I mentioned, this truck here is going to be seen in service everywhere as it's really a main kind of transporter of a lot of heavy equipment. So, um, overall, pretty fun build and should be a more fun one to add to your bolts. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so go ahead and move it into our first layer. Our first layer is going to be layer 1. To begin with, for anyone, place down a polished black stone up down stair, like this, followed by a second stair right behind it. We then want to go ahead and go from this stair right here and place down a stone top slab, iron trap door, and an air stone top slab. On these stone top slabs, we're going to place down some uh, skeleton skulls like so, as well as a polished black stone up down stair here, and then one stair coming off of it just like that. After we have that done, we want to go then place down a dark oak, or sorry, a birchwood uh, trap door coming off the stairs like that toward the front. We then want to go ahead and go back from this. We're going to go ahead and skip a space and place down another set of two polished black stone stairs. So just like this, two both sides, and we can then go ahead and fill in the space in the center here for stone top slab, iron trap door, and stone top slab here. Same thing, skeleton skulls coming off those top slabs like that, and also skeleton skulls on this side, as well as skeleton skulls on that side there of those top slabs like that. After we have that done, we're going to go and skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 spaces back. We're going to go and place down on our 7th space back a polished black stone upside down stair, and there's a stair right behind it. So you should have a space of 6 between this uh, wheel here and this one right here. At this point, we want to go and then place down a stone top slab, iron trap door, stone top slab, and a narrow polished black stone upside down stair with a second stair behind it. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of 1 and 2 birch with fence gates, 1 and 2 like this. And we're going to place down a stone top slab on both sides, iron trap door in the middle, polished black stone up down stair, one stair coming off it, and same thing over here like that. Once we have that done, uh, we want to go then take our 
smooth sandstone are placed on row three across this section here. Then a birchwood trapdoor on both sides there, and then a birchwood trapdoor there in the center. Grabbing a black banner, we're also going to place down a black banner that's going to be coming off those birchwood trapdoors there to both sides like so. After we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have uh, there for layer number one. Taking a look at it from up above, this right here is what it should look like for the top down view with this layer complete. Anyways, that right there is going to conclude this layer. Let's move on to our next layer, layer number two. Alright guys, moving into our next uh, layer, we have layer two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to each one of these polished black stone stairs. So we're just going to place down a stair on top of them, basically two stairs back to back. And we're going to do this for each one of our wheels. Uh, so we have a, should have a total of eight of these wheels complete once we have all the stairs placed like that. So we have our eight wheels complete and we're going to go ahead and basically start working on the um, drivetrain or basically the chassis for the vehicle. We're going to start off and place down an anvil on each one of these iron trap doors as well as a stone brick wall to the sides there of those anvils. Once we have that done, we're going to go to the front here to place down a stone top slab in the center here. Followed by a birch with top slab to both sides and then a row three of birch with top slabs across going off of it toward the, actually a uh, birch with top slab to both sides and the polished black stone top slab there in the center. We then want to place down a birch with fence gate coming off these two top slabs like so as well as a fence gate that's going to be coming off the side here like this and we're going to have this opened up toward the outside like so on both sides and we can also go ahead and grab ourselves a birch with sign and we can place down a birch with sign on the side here of this fence gate like so for the little ladder there to get up into the vehicle. Now once that's done, go ahead and go into this section here. We're going to place down two polished black stone top sides back along this section here. And we then want to go and grab dark, or sorry, birchwood fence gates. We're going to place down two birchwood fence gates across like so. At this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone full block after those walls there. And we're just going to go ahead and build back one, two, three, four, and five blocks. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, and five blocks like so. In the center, we're going to go ahead and grab some sandstone walls. We're going to place down a sandstone wall here, then skip a space, one right here, skip a space, and then one right here. So a little bit there of the chassis work. And then at this point, we're going to then grab some stripped birch wood over here on the uh, left side. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five of these blocks. On the last four, we're going to place down birch wood trap doors on the bottom of those blocks and birch wood trap doors on the side. We're going to make sure the ones on the side there are closed to be positioned like that. And after we have that done, we also want to go and grab an item frame. And we're going to have an item frame here on the side of this, and a smooth sandstone block in that item frame, like so. And if you're on Java, we can go ahead and purchase down a birch with sign there on the side to help hide that item frame a little bit better. That's going to be a Java only feature. If you're on Bedrock or Pocket Edition, you won't be able to place a sign item frame in the same block space, so just go ahead and place down the um, item frame and disregard that sign. Over here on the other side, we're going to go up right in front of this stair. We're going to place down three stripped birch wood blocks. And then we're going to place down one and two trip our hooks, as well as one and two polished black stone top slabs after that stair right there. Um, so do pay close attention to the differences there in the two sides. After this, we want to go ahead and then continue on by going ahead and placing down a uh, birchwood fence post. Or actually, sorry, remember, it's going to be a smooth sandstone block right next to the stone brick walls, like so. We're going to go and then grab a birchwood plank, place it down here to both sides and also there's going to be a sandstone wall right here between these sand sandstone blocks. Uh, on the side here we're going to go and grab our item frames, place our item frames like so and our smooth sandstone and again a birch wood sign on the side of that block if you do have the ability to do so. So just like that. After that uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, row of sandstone full blocks, so one, two, three across this back section here. I'm going to place down a sandstone stair like this on top of those two trap doors there, followed by a sandstone wall in the center, and then a sandstone upside down stair to both sides. We're going to place down a skeleton skull, which will be coming off the, um, in, or the sandstone wall there in the center, iron frame to both sides, and then the iron frame, we're going to place down a red stained glass block. You can go ahead and cover up the sides there of the iron frames by placing down a birchwood sign on the side of the stair if you're able to. And then also on these birchwood stairs here to these sides, we're going to do basically the same thing here. Uh, by just going ahead and placing our birchwood signs wrapped around the stairs like that. And that right there is going to basically do it for the basic structure there for this layer. Take a look at the top down view. This is what we should have with this layer complete. At this point, we'll be going ahead and now grabbing our um, banners to go ahead and make these wheeled banners, which I think adds a little bit of nice detail to the wheels and makes them look a little bit more spicy. 
So I'm gonna go and grab the necessary materials and I'll see you guys here in a sec to make those banners. All right guys, so go ahead and move into making these banners. Pretty straightforward uh, to do them. We're gonna need basically two black banners, two gray dye or yellow. Um, so you can use yellow or gray and then four black dye. We're gonna go ahead and go into our loom. We're gonna place down our black banners and our gray dye. And we're gonna go and select the line on the left side here vertically for the first banner and the line vertically on the right side for the second banner. So we have two banners like this. Again, you can use yellow if you guys want. If you want a more yellow wheel, we're gonna be going ahead and going for a little bit of a darker gray wheel, which seems to be also a style that the wheels come in. We're gonna place down our black banners back into a loom as long as well of our black dye. We're gonna do the line across the bottom there and the line across the top to go ahead and create this little C shape. And the same thing here for this wheel. And this will create the backward C. So this right here, uh, these creates these two banners. And these two banners will be placed on these two polished black stone top stairs, like so. And we're just going to have it so that the gray is facing toward each other, or yellow, depending on which color you use. And this will just be applied to each one of our wheels. So just like that. I do recommend holding on to these banners, as we will be coming back to them a little bit later in the future, in which we get into that spare tire there on the side of the vehicle. So just keep those on standby and be ready to grab them if you need to later on. But with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we moving into layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and go to the top of these blocks here and place down a row three of smooth sandstone blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a stripped birchwood block here to both sides like so. After that, we're going to then place down a trip bar hook coming off the side here of these blocks. And then a sandstone upside down stair to both sides and a row three of birchwood upside down stairs across. Item frame cut off the center stair and an orange stained glass um, block or pane in that item frame rotate like that to kind of create like a little bit of a hazard sign or something. It's something that can be placed if you have maybe some kind of hazard materials, maybe like missile pods or something like that in the back here. But if it's just different standard stuff, then you can go ahead and disregard that to, um, you know, just for a little bit of extra added realism, whatever you prefer. At this point, we're going to then place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across this section here, followed by a sandstone upside down stair to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of smooth sandstone again. So you have uh, one, two, three, and four more rows of three. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three sandstone top slabs. One, two, three. And then a sandstone stair to both sides. After that, uh, we want to go then take our sandstone walls. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sandstone walls back. And same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then just a row of one, two, three of smooth sandstone across this section here. Now, once we get to this point, we do have a difference in our two sides. Um, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and work on our right side. We're going to place down two birchwood slabs like so, and then a birchwood sign on the sides of these two slabs. So like that. We're going to then take our birchwood top slabs, place down two top slabs, and we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood trap door, replace it on top of this block, and then one like comes off or one that goes forward like so all those levers there we're not going to touch until the next layer which we can place them on the top the bottom of those blocks so we're just going to leave those levers out for right now on the other side of the vehicle we're going to go to these through four birchwood blocks we're going to place down birchwood slabs and then we want to go and then place down a uh, birchwood trap door coming off that last slab like so and same thing there with the levers applies uh, once we get to this section we're going to place down a row of or upside down sandstone stair like this to both sides and then one stair that comes out like this to the sides there like that for the fenders over the wheels um, after we get that done we're going to place down an anvil on top of this wall here and then a sandstone wall to both sides like that and we then want to go and place down a birchwood fence gate come off the side of the anvil we're going to have it opened up toward it like so and once we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up the back there. Uh, one thing also, a birchwood trap door on top of that sandstone stair. Uh, but other than that, that right there is going to conclude this layer, just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go. So with that, that is going to conclude uh, layer number three for the build. Here's a top down view of what that looks like so far. And with that, we'll be moving into layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to get started with here, we want to go ahead and take our stripped birch wood. We're going to place down one and two blocks, one and two like that on the sides here, followed by a stone button on both sides of these first blocks, and then a lever uh, facing upwards like that on the second block. Space in between, we're going to fill a row three of smooth sandstone across. If you don't want to have any kind of interior for the build, which we will not be cloning in this tutorial, we'll just go ahead and place down a row of black concrete just to close that space off. Uh, but if you do want an interior, you do have that space to work with. Um, after this, we're going to take our sandstone walls. We're going to place down a row of five that go across the front here. 
one, two item frames, one, two, coming in on both sides. On the outer item frames, we're going to place down snowballs for our front headlights. And then in our other uh, item frames, we're going to place down orange um, concrete. On those banners, with, or on the item frames with the orange concrete, if you have access to a, a or to putting signs on them, we're going to place down signs on the two like that. Like so. And then we want to place down a birchwood fence gate coming off the side here of these um, walls there, just like that to both sides. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to take our spoof sandstone, we're going to place down a row three across, followed by a second row of three. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a strip birchwood over here on the right side, and then one and two smooth sandstone over to the left side. Uh, we want to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate right here, open it toward the outside, and a birchwood sign on the side of it, followed by a green shulker box right here, and then a sandstone wall right next to it. And we're going to go then place down two stripped birchwood blocks across this space like so. After we have that done, we can take some birchwood trap door, or pressure plates and just for a bit of detail, place down one, two, three on the top there to get a little bit more texture to that area. And then grabbing some polished black stone stairs, we're going to place down two upside down stairs in this space here, as well as a birchwood trap door that will be closed against the side there of that stair. Once we have that done, we're going to take our smooth sandstone, we're going to place down a row of five across, and then we're going to go on the right side back one, two. On this second block from the front, we're going to place down an item frame with a orange concrete block in the item frame and a birchwood sign like so. And then going back from this, we're going to place down two stripped birchwood logs, two birchwood signs on the sides there of those blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six smooth sandstone blocks back. This uh, second from last block, item frame, orange concrete, birchwood sign on the side there for that little light there. And same over here, uh, we're going to place down our second block. Again, same thing, item frame, orange concrete, birchwood sign if available. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 of these um, smooth sandstone blocks back. Our second to last block, item frame, orange concrete, birchwood sign. And we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3 across the space like so. Lever on both sides of those blocks facing downwards like so. And then on the bottom here of these uh, blocks, we're just going to place down levers and make sure that they are flicked so that they look like they connect up there. We can also place down a lever right here in this space like so. And same thing over here wherever we can on the bottom of these smooth sandstone blocks. We're just going to place down our levers like so. And we can also fit one right up there on the front section as well. And with that out of the way, uh, we can go and then take some stone slabs. Um, we can use birch wood also. Uh, or birchwood planks, whatever you want to do. But we're just going to go and basically create the bed of the truck here, which is going to just be some slabs that go all the way across, filling in the base section here of the vehicle. So, just like that, trap doors are also something you can use there if you want to basically, uh, you know, a little bit of a deeper um, bed. So, you can kind of pick, you know, mix and match whatever um, you think works best for you guys. Uh, but that's all done with that, and we're going to now move back to our crane here, which is going to be a birchwood slab that goes from the anvil up, followed by a birchwood um, top slab, and then a birchwood trap door come up this slab, opened up like so. After that, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of these two walls, just like that. And after that, uh, that right there is going to basically wrap up the crane there on the back, and really what we have there for uh, layer number four. And with that, we'll be going to move into our last final layers. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our next layer. We're moving into layer number, or layers uh, 5 through 10 actually, our last final layers. To begin with, we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a birchwood fence post on top of this wall here. Then uh, two black stained glass panes to both sides here. And then a row of five of black stained glass full blocks behind those blocks like so. We then want to place down an end rod here to both sides, followed by a sandstone wall again to the sides here like so. An item frame to both sides and then a glass pane in the iron frames like that. We're going to go ahead and place down another row of five of black stained glass across then a end rod on top of these uh, two levers just like that. After that we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across, a second row of three and then a third row. And then on top of these polished black stone stairs we're going to place down two stairs back to back like so. After that we're going to have two item frames here or our, basically our two banners here like that to go ahead and kind of complete that wheel look there as well as a birchwood trapdoor on this side of the wheel that's going to be closed like so. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to then place down a zombie head on top of this shulker box on the left side there, as well as a birchwood trapdoor on the side there of that black stained glass full block. Uh, on the back here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like so, followed by a birchwood top slab, 
And then we do want to go ahead and grab a polished blackstone top slab, place it here, a lever on top of it, and then come off the lever a wither skeleton skull. Um, continue now we're to place down a smooth sandstone block here. To the side we're going to go and grab an item frame, as well as some yellow stained glass panes. We're going to place down an item frame and a yellow stained glass pane right down on the side there. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to also place down a flower pot on top of this um, block like so. And uh, we're going to adjust this wither skeleton skull a bit so it's going to be actually on top of that flower pot. So it's going to be like that there rather than coming off the lever. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a birchwood slab on top of this sandstone block here. And then we're going to take our daylight detectors, place down one, two, three, then one, two, three smooth sandstone, and one, two, three daylight detectors here. We're going to place down two rows of three of smooth sandstone across, as well as two daylight detectors here to the sides. And then skeleton skulls, which will be coming off the side here of these daylight detectors there in the corners. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab a polished blackstone uh, wall. It's going to go right here in this corner space, followed by birch wood signs that are going to be wrapped around it like so. And then on top of it, we would just want to go ahead and go up with four iron bars for the radio antenna. Just like that. And then on the front here, we're going to place down one, two, one, two item frames. And orange concrete in those item frames and then dark oak with sign or sorry birchwood signs over them again if you are on java and with that all complete that's going to pretty much wrap up our front cab section going back from this now we're going to be going ahead and now working on our uh kind of uh bed area we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block here followed by a sandstone wall smooth sandstone block sandstone wall block and we can go and then take birchwood buttons and around the sides of the blocks that we can we're going to place down birchwood buttons like that um and then we're just going to basically alternate this pattern going back so wall block 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 and wall block wall block wall block wall block wall and same thing with our buttons on the sides here we can place down one on this corner here as well and we are not going to be able to place down one here on these two blocks just because of the crane and how that's going to be positioned. So we're going to leave these two blocks faces plain. However, on this side, we can go and do the same thing here for buttons along the side here like that. After that, um, basically the last thing for us to work on is going to be this crane on the back here. And for this, uh, real simply, we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block on top of this skeleton school. And we then want to place down birch with trap doors around the sides there of this block and also on top there. We then want to take our top slabs and we're going to place down one, two, three, out to the side there, or two, and then a upside down stair, and we're going to then place down a grindstone coming off this stair like that. We then want to place down an item frame on the sides here of this stair, and we're going to then place down a smooth sandstone block in that item frame like that. We then simply want to take birchwood signs, place down one, two, and a third on the side of here of the stair again if available, and same thing over here. So just like that. And once you have that all done there, that is going to pretty much wrap up my design here for the M985 Hemp uh, Oshkosh um, Heavy, basically, utility vehicle. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be linked from a the build to link to my channel or this video if this does bring you social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your free user for a project you guys are working on, overall enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big thanks to patreon supporter godspeed for making this tutorial possible and as always feel free to check out my patreon page link is always in my video description with that though thank you guys again so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this week or two before and i'll see you guys next time